Hey everybody, this is Yannick Collins and welcome back to Oz Living where we bring you the top movers and shakers here in the blockchain space. And with me today is David Hung. He's from one of the largest Filecoin miners in the world. So David, pleased to be joined by you today. Hi Yannick, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So David, today we are going to touch upon the hottest topic right now, which is Web3 and is one of the main reasons why we're here in Singapore gearing up for the Asia Crypto Week. So David, just to start, tell us what is Web3? Yeah, uh, now everybody talk about Web3. So uh, Web1, we call it uh, read web. Mm -hmm. We can only read like yahoo.com. Mm -hmm. And uh, Web2, we call it read and write. That means we can write something, we can produce something like uh, TikTok, uh, Instagram or Twitter, Facebook, something like that. But whatever Web1, Web2, actually we own nothing. And the central company take everything, uh, even our privacy and they sell to the whole world, but never share to us. Mm -hmm. So Web3, we call the read, write, and own. So the important thing is uh, own. We, we can own everything. We can own our personal rights like this. But uh, uh, we think Web3 is 100% uh, decentralization and 100% privacy. So uh, that is the true Web3. If you cannot protect the people's uh, privacy, you cannot protect everything. So, uh, so what is Web3? I think it's 100% decentralization and 100% privacy together. Thank Fantastic. You. And when we, when we take a look at the Web3 platforms, in your opinion, which is the best Web3 platform? Yeah, actually, there's so many uh, platforms. It's fantastic. But uh, recently, we, we found the, the new project called Alio. And we think uh, Alio should be the best Web3 platform in the future. Tell us more about Alio. Yeah, we uh, actually we focus on this new project for one and a half year already. Mm -hmm. And this project is uh, uh, from beginning 2019. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, first of all, the founder team is so strong. The founder team is from uh, Zcash, one of the old privacy public chain, and also Facebook, Amazon, and Google. So this team is so strong and uh, have very good experience on privacy public chain especially on zero knowledge proof. And uh, we think this technology is the most uh, uh, useful and important technology in, in Web3. And uh, secondly, um, it's about the investment. Till now, the, the value uh, of investment is $298 million. This value is the highest, highest uh, investment in uh, zero knowledge proof. And the valuation is $1.45 billion already before launch. This project is not launched now. The technology in Alio is so unique. Uh, I can introduce some because it's too much. Mm -hmm. And uh, the first one is zero knowledge proof. So what is zero knowledge proof? This technology means you need not to show anybody your information, but you can prove who you are and you can prove your personal rights. For example, uh, maybe sometimes we go to some clubs, they need us to prove we're over 18 years old. So how can we prove that before? We gotta show them our ID, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, they knew everything on the ID. Your name, your birthday, your ID number, your country, everything. And they take it and uh, sell to the whole world. So we cannot protect our privacy. But under zero knowledge proof, you need not to show all this information. All the information is protected, is mm -hmm. cryptoed, and only you knew what is inside. Uh, if you want to prove you are over 18 years old, just one touch, you can prove that. And they only knew you are over 18 years old, and they will know nothing else. So this technology can very good protect our personal rights and our privacy. So it's a um, powerful and useful technology in Web3. Secondly, they got the, the ZK Cloud. And this technology make the unnecessary computing off-chain, do the privacy computing and then only send the result back to the chain. This technology make this public chain much, much faster than ever before. As we know, uh, the speed of Bitcoin is up around 7 TPS. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, Ethereum is around 15 to 30 TPS, but Alio is 10,000 to 20,000 TPS. Wow. It's much, much faster than ever before. That's why now we see the, for example, the NFTs, the metaverse, the game, the picture is no detail, like mm -hmm. 10, 20 years ago. And it's so slow. If more people join the project, it's going to be maybe going to be crushed. So uh, I think in the future, more and more projects are uh, developed on Alio and move to Alio from other public chain. And uh, Alio also got their own computing language called it Leo language. Mm -hmm. So this language, we have heard about C++ language or Java language. So what is Leo language? This language is very kind for the developers. They don't need to learn four years complicated cryptography and they can easily use this language to develop uh, their smart contract or applications on Alio or move any application from other publishing to, to Alio. And all the application is privacy. Mm -hmm. So, and also they got the ZX transaction uh, system. Under this system, no one will know how much coin left in your wallet. No one can check all the transaction records. So uh, can protect our privacy. So they got so many new technology. And um, another important thing is, Alio till now is the first public chain for programming and privacy together. Actually, after Bitcoin, there's uh, some uh, technicians who want to build a new public chain better than Bitcoin. Because Bitcoin is uh, no privacy and no programming. But nine, eight years ago, the, the technology is not so good as today. So at that time, the technician can only choose one way, privacy way or programming way. If you choose the privacy way, you cannot programming. And if you choose the programming way, you have no privacy. So uh, one of the founder, uh, Howard Wu, uh, used to write the code for Zcash, Ethereum, and Filecoin. So he's so good on zero knowledge proof and the privacy public chain. And now, Alio, till now, is the first uh, publishing for programming privacy together. And uh, one of the important things is about the, the capital, the foundation behind this project. And this is so important. As we know, uh, till now, A16Z, Galaxy Digital, Polychain, Coinbase, investment in this project, and uh, also Tiger, Samsung, and Soul Bank investment in Alio. And this is the traditional foundation uh, and such like this kind of uh, foundation investment in a new public chain, this never happened before. This is the first time. So we think Alio should be super in the future. Wow, that is so interesting. Well, you heard it first. You better watch out for Alio. <laughs> and I think, David, most of us are wondering, um, since Web3 is all-inclusive and it brings a lot of opportunities to people, so can you tell us how can a person, a normal human, human being, can invest in Web3? Yeah, uh, in Web3, I think there's so many opportunity. Um, but uh, basically, investment in Alio mining, I think, is uh, the one of the best way uh, for investment in Web3 because Alio should be the best uh, Web3 platform in the future. And now he's, uh, it's not launch. Alio will, be, will launch around uh, this year, uh, December. Mm -hmm. Now it's the launching the Testnet 3. So um, as we know, the first uh, miners of Bitcoin or Ethereum uh, earn a lot of uh, profit uh, mm -hmm. at the beginning. Yeah. And as we know, uh, Ethereum now ch uh, already changed POW to POS. I will use POW, POSW, uh, and the POS together. And uh, now it's the earliest time for Alio mining. And uh, we, s we think if anyone uh, want to invest in, in Web3. Investment in Alio Mining is the easy way and the, uh, the best way. Yeah. This is a huge announcement. Okay, so go, go watch that crypto miners. Go mine Alio from now on. Thank you so much, David, for Thank your you. time today. It was such a pleasure meeting you and talking to you. Okay. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you.